Okay, in this particular problem, we have opening night screening for Galaxy Wars 2 in a cinema. And there's a full attendance of 750 people. It charges $8 per adult, 5 for children, and 4 for OAPs. I know that the total number of OAPs is one-fifth of the total. So that's one-fifth of 750. And I also know the total amount received the entrance was a total of 4,860. And I'm told I have no choice but to use matrix methods to determine the number of children in attendance. Well, when I take a look at this, let's call this these A for adults, C for children, and I'll call it X for OAPs. And so when I consider this, I have three variables. So we have three variables, A, C, and X. And I have three equations. So I need three equations to actually find three variables. So I could take a look at, and the pieces of information that I have are clearly I have the total number of people that start there. So if I have the total, there's one adult, one child, one OAP, so that's proportional. I know when I multiply that, it has to be 750 in total. When I look at the cost, this is the cost, and this is the cost per each of them. So if I use that particular, adults are 8, the children are 5, and the OAPs are 4. And if I do that, I know it's going to be a total of 4, 8, 6, 0. And then the last one, I need to come up with a third equation. And the only other piece of information I've not used is this piece here, one-fifth the total attendance. So here's my OAPs. So five OAPs will be the same as the total attendance if these are zeros. So this is how we can do the matrices. You could have also considered, oh, I go A plus C plus X is 750. 8A plus 5C plus 4 x is 4860 and then you could say 5x is equal to 750 as well so this is without if you make the equations that way then you can convert to matrices and go from there but if we consider this this is a x is equal to b if i want to solve for x and i do because then i can find the children i then am going to multiply by the inverse of a on both sides. I plug that in and x will be a inverse times b. This inverse, just use your GDC. You do not need to know how to do a 3x3 three by, three by hand and you just multiply this out with your GDC and you should end up with a matrix that says 420, 180, 150 which is a, c, and x. And so from here, quite clearly, we can see that C is 180 in total.